Greetings friends, I hope this video finds you well. Um, I recently installed one of these pumps by Systems. Uh, moved into my house about a year ago, it was new construction. So I had a sump pump uh, installed when the house was built, um, but I'm always worried about that if it fails or if the power goes out, then uh, you know my basement could flood. So I uh, have a finished basement, so I do not want that to happen. So been looking at these systems over the past year or so, um, trying to think about what I wanted to do. If I just wanted to get a secondary pump or just add a backup to the pump I already had. Um, I found this pump spy system. Um, there wasn't a lot of information uh, as far as YouTube videos and things like that, that uh, like for a DI wire. So I uh, decided to go ahead and finally get the system before the spring storms start here in Southwest Ohio. And then uh, just make a video so if other people are interested. Uh, full disclaimer, I am not a licensed uh, electrician and I am not a licensed plumber. So please consult a licensed professional before doing anything like this. Um, and if you're not comfortable doing uh, do-it-yourself type stuff around the house and, and projects, things like that, it's definitely something uh, you would want to hire a professional for. So um, please take my... Um, you know, any information that I give with a grain of salt, um, like I said, I'm not licensed in any way, you know, I'm just, uh, been doing, uh, my own projects and things like that for a number of years now and something I felt I could handle. So, um, if nothing else, this would be a good overview if you're interested in doing something similar, or even if you'd want, you want to buy this system and then have a hire someone to install it for you, you kind of know what the process is going to entail. So, um, you know, it's pumpspy.com. Um, and you see here is the, uh, the, the pump that comes with the kit and then the, uh, the housing and the controller that goes on the housing. Um, and this has all of the electronics um, that monitors everything and will connect uh, via Wi-Fi to a phone app. Um, you do have to buy your own battery. Um, pump Spy makes a battery, but uh, you can buy your, your own 12-volt battery for this. Um, and then they also make a... Um, a dual pump installation kit, just like a wide, uh, one and a half inch PVC wide enter with a couple of check valves and uh, some rubber uh, boots to connect everything together. So I did want to do uh, a dual pump system. So keep the pump I already have. Add this as a secondary backup um, with the, with the battery, um, and then have the application uh, and the Wi-Fi for alerting and things like that. So uh, hope you find this helpful. Um, and you know if you do. Uh, I greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. And if you want to get notified when I have new videos, click the uh, notification icon. Um, I plan on doing more uh, DIY type videos and reviews for uh, tools and um, other hardware and things like that that you would use around the house. So um, if that's of interest to you and you like this, uh, then I would greatly appreciate uh, the support. So let's get to it. Here's what everything looks like in the boxes as it came. Um, as I mentioned before, I, I bought the uh, the pump spy kit, which was the housing, the, the controller, which has it's on top of the housing there, the pump, and then the um, the switches, which is there's a, it's a dual switch system. One's a little bit higher than the other, and then I bought the battery also from Pump Spy, and then the um, the dual pump kit uh, the, the, with the Y adapter the two check valves um, and the uh, rubber grommets so you can connect everything all uh, up to each other so um, I'll link the uh, link all of that down below so if you're interested in getting the same kit um, or if you just need one or two of the three pieces I'll put those down in the description Here's the battery. Um, it also came with the hardware to mount the posts, um, the leads going that you know go to the controller. And then here's the uh, the Y adapter, so you can hook up a dual pump system with the two check valves and the uh, the single uh, outlet to connect to your uh, outgoing uh, pipe. So 
just wanted to quickly show the uh, the manual it goes through all the different steps whether you're hooking up uh, this is a single system or to uh, to a dual pump system it's got the instructions for both and then all of the steps that you need to hook everything up together and it you know goes through and tells you how to connect to the Wi-Fi um, there was a, a separate I think an updated manual to make the Wi-Fi connection you'll see that here in a second it's a smaller one so you got your instructions for uh, Android and Apple both and then on the back it actually has kind of uh, the, the instructions to connect manually if you uh, have any issues getting this to work through the app which I did have some issues with that and I'll, I'll go into more detail later so here's my current system before I tore everything apart so like I said this was uh, put in by the builder just a single pump system it's got a switch float um, and then the pump kicks on when the, the, sw the switch float is engaged. So no battery backup or anything like that. So I uh, took off all the screws. Here's the last one and uh, this is like a half inch so I can remove this panel. Here's after I pulled the pump out, you can see there was some like some plastic, I think from maybe some from the corrugated drainage tubing. Um, there was a there was a bunch of sediment, um, probably just from stuff that was in the pipes and things like that. So I went ahead and cleaned all this out with my shop vac, cleaned it up as much as I could because I didn't want any any of those those rocks or sand or anything getting into either of the pumps um, once it was all put back together. Put some Teflon tape on the uh, the check valves and then threaded them onto each of the pumps and then hooked up the Y adapter, snugged everything up and just test fit and make sure they were going to be uh, okay sitting right next to each other and fit back into the well um, right where I wanted them. Here's the dual float switch. So you see one's a little bit higher than the other. So if that second one gets engaged, then you will get the high water warning, meaning that either the pump's not keeping up or there's another issue and you probably need to check it out. And then here uh, I'm marking the old um, drain valve of the drain line um, so I can cut it. And then here, and this is after I cut it and fit everything back together and got it back in place. Made a little shelf out of some uh, scrap uh, plywood and two by fours just to sit the battery housing and, and have it up off the floor. Um, not needed, but I just I wanted it up out of the way so the wires weren't all just laying on the floor. Got the leads to the battery hooked up and the, the controller, uh, the top uh, put on with the controller on it and everything hooked, uh, hooked together. Ran all the wires up, you can see initially this is before I tested everything. I did run some water through and get everything tested to make sure it was working correctly and then everything turned green except for the Wi-Fi. Here's what the pump, spy pump, sounds like, um, which we're running off the battery, so DC. And then you'll hear the alarm go off as well. Um, this is something you can, you can push the button and make it go off. Or as soon as you, uh, as soon as the the main pump is re-engaged so if it's a power failure or you know you have to go down there and manually replace it i guess as soon as it is engaged again it will also reset um that alarm as well and here you know so, yeah, i'll kick it on just so you hear that as, uh, see what that sounds like and you'll hear the alarm go off Here's the app. So when you first start it up, you got to create an account. So put in put in your email and create a password. And then um, once you do that, it'll ask you, you know, for location. It is allowed to use your location and when you want it to be able to use the location. Then you need to connect to the pumps by network. So it has its own little local Wi-Fi. You can see here. Um, 
it just sat there it wasn't doing anything so i had to completely uninstall the app reboot my phone reinstall the app then it finally when i went and connected to the pump spy wi-fi network it continued and then it asked me to pick my wi-fi network put in the password so that it can make that connection through and then here's just uh running through a few of the screens on the application so the home screen once the where the device will show up under and then you'll see here you've got all of your different screens under here as well so i'll probably do a separate review of the application once i have some data and this has been running for a few weeks so if you're interested in that please let, uh, please let me know down in the comments but um, you know, this is just a real quick um, run through of, of some of the screens and what the, the main pump, the backup pump, the battery, the, you know, uh, all that stuff looks like. One nice thing with this is that you can add contacts so you can add someone's either email address or phone number to get the alerts so that they don't have to have the app and and you know you don't have to share your account information. Here I've got everything put back together and tidied up, um, you know, put some cable ties around the wires and did not put the screws back in yet just so I can easily take this top off to check the system over the next few weeks as we get some rain and things like that. So um, everything tests out, everything is green as you'll see on the controller, all the statuses are green, um, you know, the Wi-Fi and everything is connected and um, performing as intended. So I hope you liked the video and you found it helpful and informative. Um, and if you uh, feel so inclined, I would greatly uh, appreciate uh, liking and subscribing so you can get notified uh, when I make new uh, videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching.